Good evening. Is it Regina? Can you see me now? Praise God. Praise the Lord. We are winners. We are winners. Amen. We always win. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's just worship him. Let's just honor him. Let's just thank him. Amen. In Jesus name. Yes, God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Praise his glorious name. Hallelujah. Praise his majestic name. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the great and mighty things that he has done for us. Hallelujah. Bless his most holy name. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Let's worship him. Let's honor him. Ah, let's lift up the name that is above all names. Amen. Any name that wants to sit on me, any name that wants to sit on you, we reject it in Jesus' name. Any name that wants to mess with me, any name that wants to mess with you, we reject it in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. We frustrate it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that name be destroyed. Let that name catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, Crystal, apologies. I'll make it up to you uh, Saturday. Okay? It's a bit. The time messed me up. I promise you I will. So, let's, let's use Isaiah chapter 46. Okay? We're going to use Isaiah chapter 46. And then we're also going to go to Jeremiah. Okay? So, just get ready. Isaiah chapter 46. And then Jeremiah. So Isaiah chapter 46, we read this earlier on in the morning. Uh, and we start from uh, verse 1 this time. Okay, Isaiah chapter 46, we're looking at it from verse 1. And then we're going to read into the verse 3 and 4. Okay, praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 46. Grab a hold of your Bibles. Isaiah chapter 46. Sister Crystal, I hope you got my, um, my, my message. Isaiah chapter 46. Hallelujah. We are grateful to God that we're back this hour. Amen. It was the devil's plan or the devil thought that, you know what? We weren't going to be gathering in the evening, but I told you that we're going to go back. Amen. In Jesus name. So Isaiah chapter 46 verse 1. Okay. So it says, Bel and Nebo, the gods of Babylon bow as they are lowered to the ground they are being hauled away on ox carts the poor beast stagger under the weight both the idols and their owners are bowed down the gods cannot protect the people and the people cannot protect the gods they go off into captivity together So, so when, 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 when people make this mistake of worshiping idols, Sister Elizabeth, things that have been fashioned, things that have been made by the hands of a human being, what God is saying is that these things cannot protect nobody. They can't protect nobody. They don't have any power. They don't have any authority. You know, um, 
I was having this conversation with God and it was to do with some things that had transpired in the last couple of years. And I like to sit down and analyze things, Sister Elizabeth. I, I like to, Sister Valerie, I like to, you know, ask questions so that I can get answers. Because most times the revelation and the things that we go through, I know that there are times when it can hit us hard. But we also have to sit down and ask ourselves, Lord, what is it that you're saying to me? What is it that I'm supposed to glean from this? And so I look to certain things that have happened. You know, you've seen me talk about some of the battles and the challenges when it comes to, you know, uh, my wife and, you know, the business and all that stuff. And I recognize that what just now, there are people that God places in your life. Okay. If you can hear me, that sister makita who are supposed to aid you to help you and to support you okay they are they are there to support you to guide you oftentimes there are also those that the devil wants to bring up what is now to destroy or to counteract sister keisha sister julia they are there to frustrate. It, it, it was something that came up. I was, I was talking to her about uh, this woman. And, uh, you know, this thing came up. And, and I was thinking that when we refuse to pray, you see, when we talk about thrones and positions and seats, Sister Crystal, and the Lord places certain people in certain positions, and when it is to aid us, we don't spend time praying for the... Uh, sustenance we don't we don't pray for them to be in position you know we pray and we have to praise the crystal that most of you and, and 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 i'm trying to make this make as much sense as possible you know when you've been you know when you've been in a workplace and you had a manager who was so good to you you know who was just you know everything that you had to deal with or everything that you were going through or anytime you needed something this manager or this supervisor will just sign up say it's okay don't worry and then for some strange reason, they get moved, transferred, or whatever. Something happens. And then they are no longer in that position. And then somebody else takes over. And it's the crystal that begins your warfare. And all of a sudden, the light bulb goes off like, wow. I should have spent time praying for my former boss. I should have spent time praying for my former supervisor. Because the hell that this one is unleashing, there is no way I can deal with this one. You literally have the opportunity to compare the two and you see the difference. And so, and so, uh, I want you to also add this to your to, to your prayer list that what is now those that are in positions that are favorable to us. So you know when they favor me in certain positions. Remember now when we look at uh 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 you know Esther. Remember now, remember now that there were people in certain positions before Mordecai showed up, and until on sorry until Haman showed up, and what is now until Haman showed up, the chaos that Haman unleashed, the people of God were not going through that. Praise the Lord. The people of God were not going through that. And I want to bring this into what we just read in Isaiah chapter 46. The gods, the idols, the things that these folk are looking up to does not offer protection. They don't have any covering. They don't have the ability to bless. And I keep saying this now, in the midst of the vacuum that is created when we don't pray. You got to understand now, Sister Crystal, this is when the familiar spirits get involved. 
So right here, God is letting you and I know that there is no power in these things. There is no strength. There is nothing in these things. What happens, Sister Olga, is that we create this vacuum when we don't intercede. We create this opportunity when we don't pray. And so what was not supposed to have any authority for some strange reason now when they keep chanting as they keep you know praying as they keep declaring the familiar spirits grab a hold of it and then all of a sudden you and i get intimidated and we start believing that those things have power Hmm. verse 3 listen to me listen to me listen to me albert put your name there listen to me sister keisha listen to me sister olga i have cared for you since you were born it went your mother or your father who cared for you and some of you know the story they didn't even have your parents didn't have. And, and, and some of you, some of us, our parents, Sister Chirita, have told us the story that it was only by the miracle, by the miraculous hand of the living God. Why or how we made it, they don't even know. I, I carried you before you were born isaiah chapter 46 he said i carried you before you were born now let's go to jeremiah sorry my eye let's go to jeremiah Isaiah chapter 46, verse 3. Hmm. Sorry. Let's, let, let's go to Isaiah. I'm just looking at something. So Jeremiah, 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 Jeremiah. These are the words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, one of the priests from the town of Anathoth in the land of Benjamin. The Lord first gave messages to Jeremiah during the 13th year of the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah. The Lord's messages continued throughout the reign of King Jehoiakim, Josiah's son, until the 11th year of the reign of King Zedekiah, another of Josiah's sons. So this is how uh, the um, Lenoti puts it. In August of the 11th year, the people of Jerusalem were taken away as captives. Verse 4 the lord gave me this message i knew you before i formed you in your mother's womb before you were born i set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations so i, I was looking at uh the scripture that we just read isaiah chapter 46 the verse 3 and the King James Version puts it this way. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born by me from the belly, which are carried from the womb. 
which are born by me from the belly, which are carried from the womb. And even to your old age, I am he. And even to white hair will I carry you. I have made and I will bear. Even I will carry and will deliver you. The verse 3. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born by me from the belly, which are carried from the womb. So I, I, I've been saying this now, and, and we see this even in our days as a child of God, that there are times when you go through, we go through certain things, Sister Olga, that there, 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 there is a plan or there is an assignment to disconnect us from the word of God. Now notice that the battle begins even from a very young age. The battle intensifies. There is warfare. There is warfare, Sister, Sister Keisha. There is warfare. And, 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 I, and I was saying today that in our world today, you got to look at what the systems of this world are, you know, are trying to project. You, you have to look at it. What the systems of this world are trying to project. And so even at a very young age, children are being confused when it comes to gender. You gotta understand that because if I confuse them, says the crystal, from a very early age, and I mess with them in this area. It is more likely that what just now their destinies are going to be messed up because uh, I was looking at a, a documentary briefly about this whole thing about these gender stuff and people who you know one minute will say they are this and the next minute they are that. Notice that, Sister Julia. Now, if you're going to change, you have to be on some type of medication. And if I'm right, it is not just medication that is going to be a once off. You're going to have to be on it for a very long time. So ask yourself, Sister Julia, who benefits Sister Keisha if I'm on medication? The pharmaceutical companies? The, the, the pharmaceutical companies benefit. And you know that these medications, hormones, and all of these things, it creates some imbalance in the individual. It creates an imbalance. So, so, so what is happening is that I'm, I'm taking this uh, imbalance and I have to take something else to supplement this. I have to take this to supplement this. So what is now, Sister Keisha, because of that, I now, listen, I walk away because I can't focus. Watching a, a read, read, read an article about somebody who had this battle and was basically advising that this thing should not be allowed because people have no idea what those who indulge in these things go through. Yes, there's a Nigel. Sounds like wow. And and these are the hidden dark stuff that what is now. You know, they don't want such information to come out because it messes with their agenda. Because what is that? Uh, uh, such major decisions. Who can make such decisions at that age? So today, it is not Pharaoh and Herod as we know it in the Bible. That's the initial, you're right. That's it. It is not Pharaoh and it is not a uh, herald as we know it okay but it is in another way they have evolved they have transformed and they are operating in this way where they are allowing rules laws to be passed which then gives power to demons you gotta understand now 
the power that the demon now has is the fact that there is a law that supports and so when you don't take up the battle i'm not going to be before you for long because i'm just trying to introduce us back into this again okay when when i don't engage That is why, listen to me, some of you don't know this, you know, those who live in the Western world, there's a whole bunch of people who are now relocated to other countries. Like, listen, I can't take this because what my child is being exposed to, I can't take it. I've seen videos of children where they've allowed, I guess, I don't know the same word that is used in America, like drag queens, allowing our children to be exposed to such things at a very young age. Now, you know that's only going to breed confusion. You've got to understand that this is deliberate. So, whilst you're at home, trying to shield your child from such things, what is that? The place where you think they should be safe, they have been exposed to these things. And, and if we don't take care, if we don't stand up for what we are supposed to stand up for, We are not going to be. This is this advice because those of us who are parents, and please don't 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 feel any type of way if you are not a biological. Listen, there's always somebody that the Lord will place in your life that you'll be able to mentor and to advise. Notice what notice what uh, uh, Jeremiah said in verse eight. Oh, sovereign Lord, I said I can't speak for you. I am too young. Listen to what the Lord said. The Lord replied, don't say, I am too young. So what is that? God is not, I keep saying this, that God is not looking at my age. God is not looking at your age. That is why we train them and we pray and, and, and we lay hands on them and we ask the Holy Ghost to visit them. We ask the Holy Ghost to locate them. We ask the Holy Spirit. We introduce them to God at a very young age. Because what is that? It is, it is, it is, it, you see, I, I don't, I, I don't, you know, it's Sister Michelle, you know, uh, uh, a lot of the parents who think that these things are fashionable, they don't know what they're introducing into the bloodline. It might look fashionable, it might look popular, but they don't know what they're introducing into the bloodline. And, and God is saying, I knew you. You know, uh, almost as if, if I can put it this way, the battle of the two worlds. This is this is the word of God, where we are very much aware of the time before in the beginning. The time before in the beginning. We are aware of the time before in the beginning. We are aware, of, you know, we are aware of that. And so we also know about the spiritual realm. So when the Lord is talking about, I knew you, you were once with me. You were with me. And 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 what just now when you come into this well, this is the book that will always bring you to that place of remembrance of okay. This is this is this is confirming where I'm coming from. That is the word of God. This is confirming where I'm coming from. Now that I've been placed in this flesh, I have got to learn the ways of this flesh. But this is confirming that my father, that I was once with, and he's giving me the assurance that I can walk through this journey. 
That is when we train the children well. That is when we don't leave them to their own devices because what is that? There is a devil. That is why those of you who have children and you see attacks on them at a very young age, you're like, why are they being attacked? This child is innocent. What's going on? You don't realize. You don't realize that the portals that sometimes are open in some homes, the demons that are in operation. And so when they see glory coming, they don't want that glory to last. They don't want that glory to come and stay in the household. So they want to mess with that house. They want to mess with that person, that individual, that child. God said to Jeremiah, I knew even before. Even before. Listen, right before our eyes, if you just pay attention to the times and the season that we're in, you can see, you don't, you know, you don't need nobody to preach you. You can just see what is what is unraveling right before our eyes. And I keep saying this now. We as the church of Jesus Christ, yes, I know having buildings and, you know, having nice setups is wonderful. But if we can go back to that place of prayer, if we can learn to continue to call on the name of the Lord, trust me, there will be changes. The relationship that I have with God is going to be so vital. I knew. See, see God, this initial, God is everything because what you said, I knew before I formed you. And, 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 you know, today I had this conversation with God, okay? And I was just putting some things before God. And let me let me put this out there to prayer mantle, okay? Uh, uh, we I've just been looking at the prayer mantle, you know, uh, accounts, finances, because, you know, I look at it periodically just to gauge what we're doing because of the support that we give to, you know, uh, the young people. I was having a conversation with Sister Gertrude today, and the subject matter came up. You know, I said, yeah, we're doing well on this side. You know, our projects are going well. Now, um, if we can get perhaps, and th this only applies to those who maybe, you know, don't support, okay? Uh, if we can get about 10 new people, 10 new people, okay, to start giving to Prayer Mantle, I think it will help us uh, offset, you know, the, the losses, so to speak that you know we've made last month okay i just want to drop out now the let that be in your spirit we just need 10 new people who will give consistently okay uh you know i don't put pressure on people it is just for you to make up in your mind what you can do once a month okay and and, and let me put it this way anything between 50 to 100 dollars a month that is all because that is what most people do you know just that once a month giving that goes a very long way Sister Keisha, you know, if those who love this ministry, those who see what I do, see what the ministry does, okay, and maybe you don't support, and maybe you didn't know, but if you would like to, I always say, let the Holy Ghost speak to you, okay? If we can get about 10, just let me know. If we get 10, you know me, I don't, if you can look at, you can listen to our recordings. I don't like, you know, bring talking about this, but I think it's reached that point where we just have to draw our attention so that the finances will be healthy. Because I've sorted out, you know, the main students that we have, but there's one or two more who have come on board, but I'm having to hold on for now. Okay, I haven't been able to sort them out yet. So if we can get about 10, those that love the ministry, those that listen, those that have seen my journey, okay, we just need 10 people. And if they can commit to 50, 200 a month, we'll have no problems. Okay, we'll be back into that healthy place financially. So let me just drop that out there. And if you heard me and you know what this ministry stands for, you've been watching us and you want to support, we will really appreciate that support. Amen. In Jesus' name, let me just put that out there. Amen. So let me go back to what I was teaching. 
so it is important so what is that every day that we spend in the presence of god every day that we learn we are always getting closer and i keep saying this now that is why things happen to me to stop me just a crystal you know to divert me to cause me not to read to cause me not to focus because the truth is what sets me free by reading i recognize that everything is god because he's telling me that he's he's there for me not just in my beginning but what is that even in my older age he said he is not going to change and so i'm supposed to hold him to this word in isaiah chapter 46 i'm supposed to hold him to it I'm supposed to hold him to it. And thank you for those who started responding. You know, um, it is just something that was kind of like on my heart that I just wanted to, you know, place it out there, prayer mantle. You know, prayer mantle has been the best. I mean, prayer mantle has been the best, you know, when it comes to, you know, uh, supporting, when it comes to, you know, us being sincere. And I believe that it is that sincerity that has brought us this far. And Sister Crystal, I believe that the vision that the Lord gave me to have this prayer room, you know, to have, you know, this, uh, 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 you know, uh, prayer closet, you know, uh, that I'm building. I believe that it is what has also brought about that, you know, this warfare because the devil can see where the ministry is going. Can you imagine, Sister Crystal, in, 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 you know, in the house, a studio dedicated to prayer? Oh, yeah. And that is what has caused a lot of the warfare, you know, and I, I've been pushing through. I've just been pushing through. I said, I'm not, I'm not going to allow evil to win. And, you know, um, uh, 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 tomorrow morning, uh, uh, you know, my folder, my book, my prayer request, I can begin to cross certain things. Definitely I can cross my daughter's results off because I know God has done it. I've got Micaiah's books from school, so I've seen the progress. Sister Makita, don't listen, don't think prayer doesn't work. I've seen the progress. So when I look at his book, I can see at the beginning when he was writing, he wasn't quite getting it. But towards the end, he gets it. Prayer is working. Prayer is working. My wife's help. I may not see anything physically, but I believe that the God that we serve is working on the inside. Okay, so so oftentimes, Sister Michelle, he works on the inside, but because we are used to seeing sick things on the outside, we're like, God, I don't see anything. And even listen, I can go outside and tell you that you know what, God will prevent certain things from happening. But we don't see it. So we get frustrated. We look at the signs, the scientific part. And we forget what God is doing. We forget that it is God who holds me. It is God who holds you. And Payasha Bade Kadabasia. When we spend time with God, you see the difference at all times. When you spend time with God. Hallelujah. 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 Lift your, lift your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Bakodabasa. Kiribi Sharabasia. Lakudibiande de Besia. Rakado sede de de be sado be karabasia. Libre kadi sado brakadia bande. 
Sabrakadi, Lakrabado, Shadaba, Zebre Pakudili vi ala brokadia beandi, Sodo Kadaba, Sedebe brakadili vi ando de besia, Le Crodovo, Sedebre Pakudili vi ante de besia. I lift up the name of Jesus. We lift up the name of Jesus. We glorify the name of Jesus. We exalt the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we lift him up right now. We declare his goodness right now. We exalt his name right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let our Lord God be praised. Let his name be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus and we rededicate this hour to God for our Bible studies in the name of Jesus we rededicate this time back to our Savior in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and the obstacles which have tried to scatter us we command their plans to come to naught in the name of Jesus Father we break the grounds for our Bible studies to commence. We break the grounds for our prayer time in this hour to commence once again. We connect back to destiny. We connect back to destiny. We connect back to destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare your goodness. Lord, you have told us that by your word, with your word, and through your word, we will always prevail. Though there be warfare, we will always triumph. You are God. You are Elohim. And there is none like you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So, Sister, uh, Sister uh, Keisha, Sister Marquita, Sister Crystal, uh, you know, um, we are we are we are airborne, amen. We are airborne, and and we will take off again. There is nothing that can stop the word of God. And please, I keep saying that in your private time, pray for me, pray for my family, because we need to complete this this house project. Uh, you know, um, and and also for for my daughter because you know she's beginning I guess the equivalent of high school you know so now it's really the serious business now so I just want to give her as much of a good start you know as I can so continue to stand with us Amen in Jesus name and those of you that will respond all we need is ten I know it's, I know these are very difficult times but that is why it's a sacrifice it's a sacrifice the Bible says that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. If I can get 12 more people, so I think I, I said 10. So let's say 12 more people who are, you know, who join, those who already give. Amen. We will have no problems at all. Okay. Let's come together and put the devil to shame in Jesus' mighty name. Bow down your heads with me. Let's pray. Let's get 12 more. Okay. Those of you who listen to me, I've been going for how many years now? You know, you see the consistency, amen. The jokers have come, some have gone, you know, uh, some have rebranded themselves, you know, some couldn't, could, you know, couldn't last, amen. But we've just remained consistent to the things of God. And I believe that, you know, uh, God can bless us, amen. Mr. Christos, so seven years, that's, that, that's roughly the beginning of the ministry. There's no way God will put us to shame. So if you're listening to me, amen, I know it's difficult times, but in a month, one month, every month, the commitment that you can make to be a blessing, I think that, you know, uh, is the least we can do to support what the Lord is allowing us to, to, to be blessed with, amen. There's no amount of money that we can put on the word of God, but we do this so we can support, amen, those who are in less fortunate positions. Amen. Right now, from that house where Philip comes from, Philip and the sister Phyllis, they're both going to be graduates. That would not have you know, that would not have happened if they never encountered us. 
and 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 it is as a result of your obedience amen we've done we've we've changed destinies through our obedience so let's not stop now so i'm just making this appeal to we need 10 new people 10 new people people who don't normally give you can get 10 just to join like that amount that i mentioned you know, i'm not i'm not i'm not the type who will mention but i'm just saying because i'm just looking at it from the accounting point of view that will help us okay i know the conditions and the climate of the world right now i know it is the same bible that the prophet of god went to visit a, a town and there was somebody there who was struggling they have nothing left apart from a small amount of flour and oil when he got there, he said, Bake me, give it to me. And through her obedience, she was sustained. So I'm making this appeal for those who watch me love the ministry. You can put yourself into a position to be blessed by listening to the word of God, listening to what the Holy Ghost is saying to you. You don't have to rush if you, you know, if you can rush, fine, but you don't have to. You can spend time and say, God, talk to me. God, let me know what I should do. Amen. God, what should I do? Just 10 people to join in to those who give consistently every month. And the ministry is going to be in the right place financially. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord has blessed us with longevity. The Lord has blessed us with longevity and we're not going nowhere. Amen. In Jesus' name. Bow down your heads with me. Father, I thank you for bringing us back. Continue to help us to grow strong in your word. Father God, our children, during these, the season, vacations, holidays, protect and guide them in Jesus' mighty name. Let us not lose any of them prematurely. The blood of Jesus, protect them, protect us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now listen, one, one more instruction. Sister Crystal, you know, I know that because when they were going to school, we give them the communion and everything, you know, so that became a routine. And now that they're at home, please don't make the mistake of letting them stop. Okay? So even though they're at home, still let them do it. Does that make sense? Whether they're at home or they're going to be going out, still continue. Don't stop. Okay? Don't stop. And let them pray. Okay? Let them pray. So even if you're going to be leaving them at home, you know, because you go to work and everything, make sure. If you have to call when you're at work to make sure, hey, have you prayed? Okay? Make sure. I told you that, you know, Micaiah has started praying. It's so funny. He will pray, he will, he will, he will pray blessing on his mom, his dad, his sister, even his nanny. I didn't tell him, I didn't tell him about that one. He he added his nanny to his prayer. He prayed blessings on them. I've been teaching him. I've been teaching him. Okay? His sister, too. I'm going to now get her to be reading the Bible, read the word of God. These are things that are priceless. You can't put any, any amount of money on it. It's priceless. Okay? So let's not stop the routine. Let's keep it going. Amen? And when they're going to be at home, you know, they're going to have their, you know, going to watch TV, uh, you know, their iPads and everything. Always make sure that there's a break. There's a time where they read the word of God. If you can do that with them, make sure. It's important. Amen? They're going to be at home for almost two months, even some of them more. So make sure. Okay, let's not put the routine down because if we do, we allow the devil to come in. Not only that, when they're going back to school and you're going to bring it back again, it's going to be a problem. You know that already. Amen. In Jesus. And thank you. I'm, 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 I'm hoping for feedback. Okay. But we're, we're getting back into our routine again. Thank you, Sister Getu, for just pushing me, telling me, get up. You know, let's go and pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Thank you for those who have responded. And thank you for those who are going to respond. In Jesus' name, it's just something that was on my heart. And I'm glad I've been able to share it with you. Amen. Continue to support. Continue to be a part of what God is doing in Jesus' mighty name.
Amen. I will see you in the morning, okay? Says the Kisha, the cash up is still the same, okay? Um, I know, I think some, I think most people don't really like PayPal now because some charges and all that kind of stuff. So let me know, okay? Any new person, when you make a commitment, let me know so I can just know that, okay, we, maybe we need five more, you know, we need six more. Just let me know, okay? Just let me know. You know, it is the devil. It's the question that I just wants to let you know. You see, the ministry is failing, you know, blah, 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 blah. We will shut up that devil in Jesus' name. Amen. So in this season, you know, 10 more, I think will be, you know, uh, uh, more than okay. We, we, we're not greedy. Amen. Again, 10 more who love this ministry. You know, the people who listen to us, if we can get the majority of those who listen to us giving. So Keisha, Zell, um, I was talking to my sister, Zell is is um, my, um, cause I, my Bank of America account. So message me. I need to figure out. Yeah. So if you message me, I'll, I should be able to get the Zelle information to you, if that makes sense. Okay. If Zelle, you know, so Zelle and Cash App seem to be the most favorable now. Okay. But let me know. Okay. Whatever is uh, be, uh, whatever is best is best for you. Okay. But like I said, if we can get you know 10, 10 brand new givers to join our existing partners. That will be our, our prayers answered. Amen. Because last month, you can see that we had a huge challenge. Okay. You know, I always let you know what's going on. We, you know, we had a huge challenge. So if we get, if we can just get 10 new givers. So those of you who give, this don't apply to you. Sister Crystal, no, no. Because Sister Crystal, I remember now, everything is handled. You know, I have a brother in New York who handles the, um, the, the giving. Okay. So not, there's no charges at all. Okay, there is nothing. So that is the good. That's the good thing. But I think PayPal. I think over time, you know, it's not as popular as it was before. You know, when PayPal started, you know, I guess this is how most of these things. That's how they start, they start by you know giving out for free or maybe making little charges. Then as time goes on, they increase it. So I know most people don't seem to like or you know PayPal is just not really in fashion like it was before. You know, so um, if 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 you're you know giving. Uh, and you want to use Cash App or Zelle, let me know so that we will, we, will, we will know that we've got these new people and, you know, we will be more than okay so that we will just continue to be supportive to all the projects that we do, okay, in Jesus' name. Yes, it's a question, yeah. I think that's why most people have not kind of like, you know, PayPal, you know, kind of like, okay. Okay, so we just have to, I'm going to look at the accounts and then, you know, get in touch with those who give on PayPal and see if there can be a transfer a shift for them okay so thank you so much for listening so those of you that you know would love to give you know you're sitting there you love what god does on this platform you want this ministry to continue to support you know all those who come before me the lord is tugging the lord is talking to you right now amen the lord is giving you the opportunity to break through and to break free amen connect your giving the god that we said the bible says that what just now what just now for god so loved the world that he gave i always say this god is a giver you heard previous say you can never outgive god and this is a good platform it's a good altar it's a good ground because the money doesn't get misused it goes to the things of god amen if you followed me you see the testimony uh sister michelle you know um uh, you know, the house that I'm building. Amen. You know, and the prayer room that's going to be at the top. You can only imagine what we'll be able to accomplish when we have that. So let's continue to band together. Amen. And this is an appeal to those who, you know, are, are, are in a position to give, but maybe, you know, they didn't know so much about prayer mantle. Let the Holy Ghost talk to you. And and let me know, send me a message, okay? So that we will just, you know, uh, reduce the numbers in the next couple of days. So we know that, okay, we got, you know, six more. We got four more. We got two more. And then we are good. Amen? In Jesus' name. Love you so much. I'm glad. Amen? Just trying to get my body clock back to normal. The kids are on holidays now, so I don't have to, you know, wake up so early. Amen? I'm still in the kitchen. Uh, you know, um, God has been so good. You know, the testimony. You know, um, uh, you know, the business is getting better. Amen. God has been so good. So continue to pray. Okay. 
continue to pray as we also pray for you and your household. Amen. I still believe that God will heal my wife completely. I still believe that, you know, she will go back to what God, amen, uh, you know, intended. God's original intent. I know that God will do it. Amen. In Jesus Christ, Saturday, Saturday, I promise you, amen, I will make sure, you know, we have this conversation. And anybody else that wants me to call them, you know what to do. Send me a message, amen. You know your brother, I still need deliverance in that area. But you know my heart is, you know, my heart is good, amen. So continue to, you know, and pray for me and my family, amen. In Jesus' mighty name. So we will be back in the morning, okay, and we will continue with this subject. And please notice how it ties into the story of Mephibosheth, okay, and Ziba. Notice how it ties into that. Okay, notice how it ties into that. Because, Sister Keisha, we're not going to allow no man or woman to dominate us. That is the reality. We're not going to allow no man or woman to dominate us. Okay? In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Thank you for being patient. We will be back in the morning. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you.